Welcome to the 2014-15 module for the Assistant Scorer. Here, you will learn how to complete the Libro Control Sheet using USA Volleyball Rules. Please turn off your cell phones while watching this presentation. Here is an example of the Libro Control Sheet. It is used to identify each team's designated Libros, record all Libro replacements and team substitutions, and confirm that all replacements are made correctly. To use the Libro control sheet effectively, it is important to know the current rules. Knowing these rules will help you to better understand your duties as an assistant scorer. The Libros are noted on the lineup sheet submitted by each team for the first set. The volleyball rule book, also known as the DCR, states that at the start of the match, each team must decide to designate two Libros for the match or one or zero Libro per set. This information is submitted on the lineup sheet for set one of the match. If two Libros are recorded on the set one lineup sheet, the Libros are designated for the entire match and the team may use only those two Libros in all sets. On subsequent lineup sheets from that team, Libros do not have to be listed, but if Libros are listed, they must be the same two. If any new Libros are listed, let the referee know immediately so she can let the coach know the team cannot change their Libros. If one or zero Libro is recorded on the set one lineup sheet, the team may select the same, different, or no Libro for any subsequent sets of that match. But to use a Libro in any set, that Libro number must be on the lineup sheet for that set. There are a few other rules that are good to be aware of as you prepare the control sheet for the start of the match. Either or no Libro may start the match. No matter how many Libros a team has, only one Libro for each team may be on the court at a time. Libros may serve in one position of a team serving order, and Libros may not be designated as the team captain. Let's also look at the terminology you need to be familiar with while fulfilling your responsibilities as the assistant scorer. The acting Libro is defined as the Libro on the court. If a team is using two Libros, the second Libro is the Libro who is not on the court. Here you can see the lineup sheets that have been submitted for the first set of the match between Lightning and Thunder. Lightning has designated two Libros for the match, number 16 and number 20. Thunder has designated only one Libro, number 11, and the second box has been marked with an X. Because there is one Libro designated, you know that Thunder may choose to designate the same player, a different player, or no player as a Libro in subsequent sets. When you receive a lineup sheet with only one box filled in, make sure that the second referee checks with the team to see if there will be a second Libro. Once the team confirms it will be using only one Libro, place an X in the second box. Likewise, if you receive a lineup sheet with no Libro designated, have the second referee check with the team to see if they wish to use a Libro for that set. When it is established that the team will be using no Libro, place an X in both boxes. Once the lineups have been submitted and it has been established how many Libros each team will be using, your first step is to fill in the first set on the Libro control sheet. As you're sitting at the score table, Lightning occupies the bench on your left and Thunder the bench on your right. First, enter the team names right next to the Libro boxes. Then enter the Libros for Lightning in the appropriate boxes. Note that 16, the number in the first Libro box on the lineup sheet, will go into the first box on the Libro control sheet, the box with the L in it. Next, enter Lightning's lineup. Make sure that the number in the box from the lineup sheet with Roman numeral 1 ends up in the SP or starting player column on the control sheet next to the Roman numeral 1. Continuing on, each player number from the lineup sheet will match up with the Roman numeral on the control sheet. Now enter the Libro information for Thunder in the appropriate boxes on the right side, placing an X in the second box, which is the box with the R in it. Next, enter Thunder's lineup again putting numbers in matching Roman numeral boxes. You see that each lineup has a C on the line next to one number. This is the player who will serve as the playing captain while on the court. 
If this player leaves the court during play for any reason, you or the scorer should ensure that the second referee asks the team to select a new playing captain. If the original captain returns to the court later in the set, he or she will again be the playing captain for that team. Because the Libros are for the entire match, if a team is using two Libros, fill in the Libro boxes on the Libro control sheet for all non-deciding sets of this match for Lightning. Thunder will have the opportunity to change its Libro for any subsequent sets, so do not send the R boxes for all non-deciding sets. Before the set begins, you and the scorer can check the player positions on the court using the score sheet and Libro control sheet. If you find a player on the court who should not be there, bring it to the attention of the second referee who will make sure the correct players are on the court before play begins. After checking the lineups and finding them correct, the second referee beckons a Libro onto the court for each team. Although you are responsible for all Libro replacements for both teams, for example purposes, you will see only replacements and substitutions for Lightning in this module. When the second referee beckons the Libro onto the court after the lineup check, you see Libro number 16 replace number 7 in the back row. Since number 16 is the Libro number in the L box, write an L next to the number 7. Since this is a replacement and not a substitution, do not slash the 7. When Libro number 16 exits the court, he or she may only be replaced by the regular player for that position or by the second Libro number 20. Here you see that Lightning's number 7 re-enters the game and replaces Libro number 16. Write 7 next to the L in the player section and remember that you don't slash the L when the Libro leaves the court since this is a replacement, not a substitution. The Libro must now set out one completed rally before re-entering the set. This means that neither Libro can enter the set until a completed rally occurs. This would be true only if a Libro is not the next correct server. We'll cover the Libro serving shortly. Part of your duties as the assistant scorer is to ensure that a Libro does not play in the front row. If a Libro rotates into the front row and a replacement does not occur, Notify the second referee as soon as you notice, no matter when that is. The second referee will stop play or wait till the end of the rally to whistle. Later in the set, Libro number 16 returns to the game for number 7, so write an L next to the 7. Because there are two Libros for Lightning, you need to make a different notation on the control sheet depending on which Libro is on the court. When the Libro in the first box is on the court, Use the letter L to show that Libro is on the court. Use an R to denote when the Libro in the second box is on the court. So when the L, or Libro number 16, leaves the court and is replaced by the Libro in the second box, number 20, write an R next to the L. Since this is a replacement, do not slash the L. And as always, remember that both Libros cannot be on the court at the same time. The L and the R may alternate positions after each completed rally while that position is in the back row. It is not necessary for the original player, in this instance number 7, to enter between Libro replacements. But when the position rotates to the front row, then number 7 must replace whichever Libro is on the court. Here, note that number 7 returns to the court, replacing R, Libro number 20. Again, do not slash the R when the Libro exits the court. You are also responsible for tracking regular substitutions on the control sheet. Let's go through a couple of different substitution scenarios. You see that number 6 for Lightning is substituted in for player number 7. Although you do not slash the numbers when a replacement happens, you will slash the number of the player leaving the court when a substitution occurs. In this instance, slash the 7 and write a 6 next to it. At the same time, player number 8 substitutes in for the captain, number 5. Slash the 5C and write 8 next to the slashed 5C. When the second referee informs you that the new captain is number 3, write a C next to 3. If the second referee does not inform you who the new playing captain is, ask him or her to get this information from the coach or exiting captain before play resumes. As mentioned on an earlier slide, 
USAV rules allow either Libro to serve in one position of a team's rotation. The rule states that there must be a completed rally between two Libro replacements unless the Libro is replacing the player in position one and is the next correct server. For each set of a match, either Libro may replace one player in position one to serve, and this position may change each set of the match. Let's take a look at what you do when a Libro contacts the ball for service. At the end of a rally, Libro number 16 replaces number 8, so write an L next to the 8. Number 16 then serves. This is the first time a Libro has served in this set, so draw a triangle around the Roman numeral 5. From this point forward in the set, this will be the only position that either Libro will be allowed to serve. One of your responsibilities is to inform the scorer and the second referee if either Libro serves in any other position during the set. At the end of the rally, number 8 returns to the court and Libro number 16 exits the court. So write an 8 next to the L. During the same dead ball, number 5 substitutes back into the game for number 8. Slash the 8, since this is a substitution, and write 5C next to the slashed 8. Then slash the C you had placed next to number 3 earlier in the set. Remember that any time the captain who started the set is on the court, he or she is the playing captain. There are a number of instances when an illegal replacement occurs. You need to be alert for these so you can notify the second referee. An illegal replacement occurs when the wrong regular player replaces the libero or a completed rally does not occur between replacements unless the Libro is going to position one and is the next correct server. When you notice either one of these illegal replacements, immediately notify the second referee. The referee will either address it before the next serve or wait till the end of the rally to assess the correct sanction. When a Libro is redesignated, circle the number of the Libro being redesignated and record the number of the new Libro next to or above the circled number. Repeat these actions for the remaining sets in the match if two Libros are designated at the beginning of the match. In the case of Lightning, since the team began the match with two Libros and the coach declared both Libros unable to continue, circle both numbers and write the redesignated number above or next to either circled number. It is possible that you will not know either 16 or 20 were not able to play until you are told of the redesignation. Now let's take a look at what needs to be done differently in a deciding set. First, record the name of the Team Thunder starting on your left in the far left and far right sections and the Team Lightning starting on your right in the middle section. Then write the appropriate A or B designation next to each team name. Thunder is B and Lightning is A. Next, record the Libro numbers for Thunder on the far left followed by their lineup on both the far left and far right, and finally, record the Libro numbers and lineup for Lightning in the middle section. Before the team switch court at eight points, all substitutions for Thunder are recorded on both the far left and far right sides at the time they occur, while the Libro replacements for Thunder are recorded on only the far left section. If a Libro serves for Thunder before the team switch courts at eight points, the triangle over the Roman numeral needs to be recorded on both the left and right side of the sheet. Of course, all substitutions and Libro replacements for Lightning, the team on the right, are recorded in the middle section. When the 8th point, or 13th point in a 25-point set, is scored and the team switch courts, replacements may not take place until after the court switch. If the Libro for the team on the left is on the court when the first referee directs the teams to switch courts, transfer the appropriate Libro letter to the far right section. Since Thunder's Libro was on the court at the court switch, write an L in the appropriate line in the far right section. After the team switch courts, ignore the far left section of the sheet and track all Libro replacements and team substitutions in the middle and far right sections for the remainder of the set. Here are some tips and hints to help you as an assistant scorer. After a timeout, 
verify that the same players who are on the court before the timeout return to the court at the conclusion of the timeout. Only then can a replacement occur. During a timeout, communicate the following information to the second referee, whether each team's libero is on or off the court, and which libero is on the court if the team has designated two liberos. After the court switch in the deciding set, make sure that the correct players are on the court in the correct positions before any replacements occur.